Hello everybody, it is me, Marie Martinez Bateman. I am the CEO of New Coyote Consulting. We are an equity and communications consulting firm here in the Pacific Northwest. It is the Tuesday update. The sun is shining. Uh, it's been kind of a rainy weekend, kind of cold, so I'm really excited for the sun to be out. I feel very affected by the weather in Portland. Um, I think most people in Portland do. It's just very easy to be affected by the weather in this city, um, partially because it's so beautiful and there is so much like nature and tree cover and animals and it's just, um, it's just way more of a real thing here, weather. Um, usually I just tell you how business is going. Business is going great. I'm feeling really good. Um, we're in week three of decolonizing management. We have an amazing cohort. We're talking a lot about just how white supremacy shows up in work and working. And today we talked a lot about sort of how competition is not real. And this is a belief, this is a mindset that has really helped me a lot in my career. And also this is a mindset I feel like a lot of people have trouble understanding, especially if the scarcity that they have experienced has been largely threat-based, right? Um, you've never actually gone hungry, you've only worried about it. You've never gone homeless, you've only worried about it. I think for those of us who have existed on the very edge of resource availability, um, where those kind of things do happen, you learn really quickly that cooperation is key and working with others is key. And like the number of jobs available, um, that's not a reason for scarcity, right? We're going to have so many, we already have so many problems on this planet. We're going to continue to have problems on this planet. Someone's going to have to do something to solve them. We're probably going to have to do them together as a collective. Therefore, there will never be, there's no actual scarcity of jobs, right? There's always trash to pick up. There's always kids that need rearing. There's always food that needs making. There's always something that needs cleaning. There's always <laughs> all of these things, right? Um, what we experience is not a scarcity in terms of jobs. It's a scarcity in terms of employers and it's a scarcity in terms of funding. And that comes from the system we're in, not from the need. So um, thinking in that way has really helped my career a lot. It's definitely opened me up to a lot of amazing positive experiences, made some of my best friends with that kind of thinking. And it is very clearly the thinking that is required to move forward in the situation we're in right now. Other than that, it's really hard to feel upset when the sun is shining. Um, I'm just excited to, to, for it to be spring and excited to be able to go back outside and, you know, be in the world again. During the winter, I tend to not do as many things because I am still masking indoors and being very COVID safe, which we all should be doing. It has not gone away. Wastewater reports still show COVID being in the community. And um, moreover, we still don't really understand how COVID is disabling people um, who get COVID. So just my little pitch to continue to be safe and, um, and you know, Wear your mask indoors and wear your mask on public transit and wear a mask when we're, when we're going and gathering with people. I know that's not very popular anymore and a lot of people aren't doing it anymore. And people are still getting COVID quite a lot. <laughs> um, I saw something on TikTok that said it's the number three killer in terms of like people who die from disease with like heart disease and cancer being first and second, obviously. I don't know if that's a real number. I didn't check. I didn't like do any research on that. But it's just the amount of people, especially people in power that are pretending that COVID isn't real is bonkers. And it does, um, it does worry me quite a bit. So 
please get your vaccines. Please wear your mask. Please remember that this is a pandemic. It's not over. It is, um, it's still affecting people in a really wild way and people are being disabled by it. Um, pretty severely, some of us. Uh, I have never gotten COVID and I'm not disabled by COVID, but I mean us, the collective us. So I am over and above that. I'm just, that being said, actually, I'm just so stoked that we are entering into a time where it's safe to go outside and be, and be outside and like go to the park and go to the coffee shop and eat on the patio and all of those things that near and dear to me. All right. Have a lunch, have a walk, have a weekend. Don't work for free. I will see you next week.